Today we're going over easy ways to remember the adductor magnus, longus, and brevis. So let's get to it. Starting with the origins, we can see all three of these muscles originate off the pubis. So of course here we have the entire pelvis, we have the femur, and this here would be the pubis. Right here would be the origin point of the adductor longus, the adductor brevis, and of course the adductor magnus. Now the adductor magnus is so big it kind of creeps into ischium territory, so it originates off both bones, the pubis and the ischium. Now from there, these muscles run laterally and posteriorly, kind of like this, to insert on the posterior femur. So the way I remember this is just kind of general. I remember the adductors duck behind the femur. So again, the adductors duck behind the femur and insert on the posterior femur. And that'll just help remind you of where these muscles are kind of running and where they insert. As for the layout of these muscles, you can kind of think of it as a brevis sandwich. So forget breakfast sandwich, no eggs, no bacon. This is a brevis sandwich. And the reason why is because the adductor longus is the most anterior of these muscles. Then in the middle, we have the brevis. And then of course, the magnus is the deepest and most posterior of these muscles. So again, it kind of creates a brevis sandwich. If we turn them all around and take a look at the posterior femur, we can see the insertion point of all three of these muscles. They all insert on an area called the linea aspera, which is kind of this ridge you'll see on the posterior femur. Linea aspera is Latin for rough line. And so the way I remember the insertion point here is, you've probably heard the saying, getting your ducks in a row. Well, in this case, we're getting our ducks, aka the adductors, on a line. So forget rows, throw rows away. Where we're going, we don't need rows. Instead, think about getting your ducks on a line, and that reminds you that the adductors insert on the line, the linea aspera on the posterior femur. All right, so let's talk about the adductor magnus, which is pretty interesting, but it can be a little confusing. So the problem is, is that the adductor magnus is so big and takes up so much space, it really doesn't know if it wants to be an adductor or a hamstring. So it kind of does both things, and it's actually divided usually into two different parts, the adductor part and the hamstring part. The adductor part of the adductor magnus kind of just is just like any other adductor. So it originates off the pubis, a little bit of the ischium here. It then ducks behind the femur and inserts on the linea aspera, basically just like any other adductor. If we turn around and kind of take a look at the hamstring part, so the hamstring part originates on the ischial tuberosity. So other hamstrings would be originating here. The adductor magnus, the hamstring part is so close to the other hamstrings, it kind of picks up some hamstring tendencies. So if we take a wider view, the hamstring part of the adductor magnus starts here at the ischial tuberosity and then runs all the way down and inserts on the medial epicondyle of the femur at a place called the adductor tubercle. So right about here. So the way I remember all this is I remember the magnus is madness. So it has two parts, two origins, two insertions, and even two innervations. So I think the magnus is madness, and that kind of reminds me of, oh yeah, there's a lot going on here. I gotta remember the adductor part and the hamstring part, and that kind of jogs my memory of what this muscle is all about. As for innervations, all three of these muscles are supplied by the obturator nerve. And the way I remember that is I just think about this big O here, all the muscles in line with the obturator foramen, this big O are supplied by the obturator nerve. So we have all three of these muscles. We have the gracilis, we have the obturator externus, all kind of coming out of that O in line with it. That reminds me of the obturator nerve. Of course, as we talked about, the magnus is so big, it gets two innervations because it's, it's a big old boy. So it's got two innervations. The adductor part is the obturator nerve. The hamstring part is now so close to the posterior compartment with the other hamstrings, it's supplied by the sciatic nerve just like the other hamstrings. So again, it gets two innervations, it's madness. Just remember, the magnus is madness. All right, that covers the three adductors. Thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.